This is a Game Caviar production. All right, sitting here playing some Fuse on PS3. I came across a really cool video. It was really, I wouldn't say it's cool as much as it is interesting. But anyway, over the, uh, I guess on July 4th, a guy got stopped at a DUI checkpoint. And if you have driven or know of anybody who uh, has a license and drives or whatever, you may or may not be familiar with DUI checkpoints. Basically, cops set up checkpoints to catch drunk drivers. That's all it is. And there has been a lot of debate on whether DUI checkpoints are legal or not. I don't know whether they are. I'm not a lawyer. I don't know. But this guy got stopped in one. And it was kind of weird what he was doing. Because uh, from what he was saying on the screen, and, I, and some of this stuff I know is legal and some of it I didn't know. But anyway, uh, he was saying that, and I'll just walk you through it. But there's certain things like the cop tries to open the door and take him out of the car. He said that that's illegal. If you haven't done anything illegal, then the cops can't, like, take you out of your vehicle, you know. Uh, it says right here, it says it's also not legal for him to open people's doors and randomly pull them out of their cars like he just tried to do after the cop tried to open the door and get him out of the car. So he finally pulls over and he gets out of the car. And while he's back there, the cop asks him for an ID. And uh, evidently, if you if you haven't broken the law, they can't a cop can't ask you for your ID. Take it at face value. I don't know. I'm not a lawyer. I'm just letting you guys know that this video is interesting, and, and you should go check it out because uh, some of the things that he was saying was uh, true. Like I know for a fact that you don't have to give cops the the uh, you don't have to let cops search a vehicle. If they ask, you can say no. I don't want you to, and they 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 just can't unless they have probable cause to search a vehicle now they did get around that by in this video they got around it by taking out a dog uh like a drug sniffing dog and they walked around his car and he said the dog was all up on his hood sniffing for stuff and and um and then uh they scratched up his car and i guess the cops said a command that made the dog act like he smelled something and then the cops used that as a motive to search the guy's vehicle they didn't find anything illegal and uh uh, one other thing that was really interesting was he kept asking the cop, am I being detained? He said it a couple times, am I being detained? Am I being detained? Am I being detained? And the cops wouldn't answer him, which is weird because um, that's uh, that's their way of getting around that question because he really wasn't being detained. The guy didn't break the law. So uh, the one thing that that he's, he said in the, vi in the video is that the cops never asked him, was he drunk or not? Or had he been drinking? At a DUI checkpoint, that would be the first thing that would would uh, that the cops should ask. You know, you would think that if you set up a DUI checkpoint, the first thing that would come out of your mouth is, "Have you been drinking?" You know, one of the first things, of course, but not in this case. And they were pretty pissed off, man. Um, yeah, they were pretty pissed off. Right now, I'm at the video, the part of the video where they get the dog and everything. So I'm gonna put the link to this video. Uh, in the description and please check it out. I mean, it's a very interesting vi video and like I said I don't know whether everything that the guys uh, was saying was true But um, it, it certainly did he, he was very confident in what he was saying to the police and he didn't go to jail for like obstruction of justice or any weird thing or resisting arrest or anything so um, With the evidence that has been presented to the YouTube court, I'm gonna say this guy knew what he was talking about and that, you know, the cops were really trying to screw him over. It sucks that it happened on July 4th, you know, the day that America was born and, you know, America's number one thing is freedom, but this guy's freedom was definitely trying to get uh, snatched by the police that day. But anyway, um, this is Fuse on PS3. I still play this game and it's awesome. You should try it out if you haven't already. I'm not having it in the Game Caviar Studios. I'm about to fail this mission, so I'm gonna leave. I'm out. This has been a Game Caviar production. Like this video and subscribe for more.